If you're new to gardening, you're all too familiar with this scene right here, which is a dried up and shriveled plant. That's why I designed this simple plant watering system. There's no soldering and there's no Arduino involved. Just simple plug and play wiring. If you like this DIY project, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic. For this project, we'll need a soil moisture sensor. I was able to pick up this cheap Chinese one off of Amazon. You'll also need a um, 5 volt relay module. Um, this one has the capability of being triggered high and low. Um, for this application, we need to make sure that it's in the high trigger mode. Um, to do this, just pull up the jumper and make sure it's clipped on to the side closest to the H, meaning high. You'll need a 5 volt DC pump with some tubing, some jumper cables, a plastic container, and some butt connectors and a USB cable. To make the water dispenser, drill two holes on top of the lid and then attach the tubing to the pump and insert the pump into the dispenser. Then pull the tubing through one hole and the wiring through the other. Use screws to mount the PCB portion of the soil sensor to the lid and the 5 volt relay module to the lid as well. To begin the wiring, attach one end of the female jumper to the positive side of the sensor head while attaching the other end to the positive side of the PCB and do the same for the negative. On the other side of the soil sensor PCB, wire a red jumper wire to the VCC, a black to the ground, and a white to the digital output. The analog output will remain empty. Wire the white wire coming from the digital output of the soil sensor to the input of the relay module, then add a red jumper wire to the positive and a black jumper wire to the negative of the relay module. Connect the red wire coming from the pump to the normally open contact of the relay, then add a red jumper wire to the common of the relay. Then we need to take our USB cable and cut off the smaller terminal and peel back the wiring. The red wire will be the positive and the white wire in this case will be the negative. Use a butt connector to connect all the positive wires to each other. Then use another butt connector to connect all the negative wires to each other. I recommend putting two wires into each side of the connector. Drill a hole and thread the tubing through the pot. Add a nozzle to the end of the tubing to help bury it into the soil. Bury the soil sensor. You may have to adjust this later. After filling the jug up with water, attach the USB to a power bank if you want the portability, or you can also attach it to a 5 volt wall adapter. That's it. We're all done. The water will begin to fill up the pot and once it saturates the sensor, it'll turn off the pump. You may have to adjust the position of the sensor and the position of the tubing to get the desired saturation level. To do another demo of how it works, I've added this jug to the side of my pot. Since the soil moisture is already saturated, I will just lift the sensor out of the pot to, to simulate a non-saturated environment. As you can see, once the sensor is lifted, the pump turns on.